All right, you guys ready to flow? Let's do this. Let's get into tabletop position on hands and knees. Very simple, hips over knees, shoulders over wrists. Nice neutral spine. From here, let's do cat-cow to loosen the spine. Inhale, stick your butt out. Chest forward, looking up. Exhale, round your back. Tuck your tailbone. Maybe look at your belly button. Inhale, round, uh, arch your back. Exhale, round your back. Dome your back. Push through the shoulders. Inhale. And exhale one more time. Rounding your back like an angry cat. Hold this cat position and then walk your hands to your knees. Really firm. Stretching the upper back apart. And then walk it back out. And then let's get on fingertips. Fingertips and we'll do a little bird dog here. Bird dog is simple. Extend the left leg back and right arm forward. Keep, of the, keep the back of the neck long and wrinkle free. And then bring knee to elbow. And then straighten everything back out. Extension. Bring it in, compress. Knee to elbow. Extend it back out. And one more time, exhale as you bring the knee and elbow together and extend and bring it down. Other side, right leg back, toes, the back toes facing down and then extend the left arm up, tuck your chin slightly so the back of the neck is long, take a deep breath. And exhale as you bring the elbow and knee together. Extend back out. Do this on your own three times total. Extend and bring it back down. Everything flat down. Now let's go on your fists like so and go into a plank position on your fists. Put more weight toward the front knuckles. Okay, push through the shoulders to lift your whole body away from the floor even more. Engage the glutes, squeeze your butt lightly, squeeze your abs. Maybe feet together, inner thighs squeezing as well. Breathing. And bring the knees down, feet apart, uh, feet together, knees apart. Sit back toward your heel into child's pose. Relax your forehead on the ground. Just take a few breaths here in child's pose. Let's go into puppy dog pose. Do so by looking at your fingers and crawl your fingers forward. Keep them walking them forward until your hips are above your knees. And just keep looking at your hands. And you can also bring your forehead down onto the floor, onto the mat. Take a couple breaths here. Look at your fingers again and now inch them back to where you came from. All right. And from here, let's go into our first downward dog. Tuck your toes, lift your knees up and raise your butt up into downward facing dog. Plant your fingers, spread your fingers wide and plant your knuckles firmly into the ground. Bend your knees slightly and try to stick your butt up. Raise your seat bones up to flatten your back. 
push through the shoulders lightly, engage those shoulders. Okay, and from here, let's bend the knees deeply, bend the knees a lot and look forward at your hands. And then straighten the legs and look at your belly button. Inhale, bend the knees deeply, look forward at your hands. Exhale, straighten the legs and look at your belly button and bring the chest toward your thighs. Inhale, look forward at your hands. Exhale, bend the knee, uh, straighten the knees and look forward. I mean, sorry, look at your belly button. All right, now we bend the knees deeply, look forward at our hands and hop forward to the top of the mat. Slide the hands up the shins and flatten the back for a half forward fold. Exhale, round the back, forward fold, just let everything go. Grab opposite elbows and just hang like a rag doll. Maybe move your whole torso to the left or to the right. Explore just what it's like to hang. Let your head go. Shake, release your neck. Shake your head no to let it go. Put more weight toward the front of your toes. The more you lean forward, the harder it can get. And let's let the clasp go of the elbows and come up one vertebrae at a time. Keep the head down. Just keep coming up one vertebrae at a time until the shoulders eventually roll backwards and the head is the last thing to come up. Take your time. When you're in this position, take a deep breath and pull the, uh, bring the palms forward and raise the arms up, looking up at your hands and hands to the heart. Exhale. Let's do that one more time. Bring the arms up. Inhale. Look up at your hands. And now get on your, the tips of your toes as you are looking at your feet. I mean at your hands while you're on the tips of your toes. So your heels are up in the air. And I'm going to count down. Five. Four, three, two, one. And swan dive, forward fold, down, hands to the mat, and step the left foot back into a lunge. Make sure that your foot is forward enough so that the knee is not ahead of the foot. Okay? And then raise the arms up. So you're in your crescent lunge. This is a crescent lunge pose. Left hip, bring it more forward. So it's coming around the corner as she comes. And let's do this variation. Put your right hand on your right hip, extend the left arm up and bring it over to the right. Bend the back knee slightly and slightly engage the glutes. All right. Raise both arms up. And let's do a variation here where we bring the right hand back, right hand back, left arm forward. Okay, and then raise the arms up. Inhale, maybe looking up for a mild back bend. And exhale, hands to the heart, uh, hands to the mat. Step back into plank. Let's get situated in our plank firmly. Strong plank. Squeeze the butt. Squeeze the abs. Push the shoulders such that your entire body goes away from the mat even further. And then I want you to get on the tips of your toes and lean your whole, your shoulders forward. 
your feet forward maybe even, your heels forward, and then lower down slowly, 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 all the way until you come down onto the mat, untuck your toes, press the tops of your feet down into the mat, and do a cobra. All you're doing in the cobra is lifting your chest up, and maybe looking forward or slightly down and forward and the tops of your feet pressing down to help lift the front of your body up. Remember to breathe. Now from here, press yourself into child's pose. Child's pose. Feet together, knees apart. Bring your butt toward your heels and let your forehead go on the mat. Take three breaths here on your own. Okay, now let's get back onto tabletop position. Tuck the toes and lift your hips up into downward facing dog. One more time, we're going to do the hop, but again, let's prep ourselves up. Inhale, bend the knees deeply. Look forward at your hands and then exhale, straighten the legs and bring your chest toward your thighs. One more time. Inhale, bend the knees deeply. Look forward at your hands. And then exhale, straighten the legs and bring your chest toward your thighs. And maybe look at your belly button. All right, and here we go. Inhale, look forward, bend the knees deeply. And then exhale, hop forward to the top of the mat. Inhale as you slide the hands up the shins and exhale forward fold let it all go shake your head no to let it go and this time i want you to put your hands interlace your fingers and put your hands on the bottom i mean on the back of your head and allow the weight of your arms and elbows to naturally bring your head down toward the floor no extra pressure just the weight of your arms no bobbing, no nothing, just... And also you can lean your weight forward toward your toes. So lean more weight forward toward your toes. Take a couple breaths here. And let it go. Bring your hands down to the mat. And step the right foot back into a lunge. And again, make sure that your stance is long enough that your knee is not ahead of your foot, okay? Raise your arms up, slight bend in the back knee, okay? And make sure your right hip is coming forward to square the hips in your crescent lunge. Take a couple breaths here. Maybe look up if you're comfortable here. Now, let's do this nice twist. Bring the left hand toward the left, back behind you, and the right arm forward. You can bend the front knee if you want to take it further. And raise both arms up. Maybe do a slight back bend as you look up. And exhale, hands to the mat. Step the foot back into plank. And hang out in plank for a moment. Strong plank. Strong, strong, strong plank. Squeeze your butt. No arch in your lower back. Tuck your tailbone. Squeeze your abs. Inner thighs together. Back of the neck long, not looking forward, not looking behind you. 
just a neutral position push through the shoulders so that your whole body goes away from the floor even more elbow pits spiraling forward lean the shoulders forward forward ahead of the fingers and lower down slowly halfway until you go into an upward facing dog by untucking the toes and straightening your arms into upward facing dog in this upward facing dog the only thing that's touching the floor are the tops of your feet and your hands and then exhale as you lift the hips up into downward fa facing dog all right hang out in downward dog here for a moment you should be all warmed up now. <laughs> Let's raise the right leg up into a three-legged downward dog and bring the right knee toward your nose. Keep the no knee close to the nose, high up, and bring your heel up toward your butt. Knee toward your nose, heel toward your butt. Knee toward your nose, heel toward your butt. And now step it through between your hands. Awesome. If you couldn't step it through hard, uh, far enough, bring it forward, crawl it forward. Inhale, bring both arms up, crescent lunge once more. Rela relax the shoulders. Left arm back, right arm forward. Actually, let's do this the other way, sorry. This, uh, for this direction, it should be right arm back, left arm forward. And see if you could bring your right hand on your, the back of your left thigh and raise your left arm up. So it's a reverse twisted crescent lunge. Should feel a nice stretch in the front of the left thigh. Maybe bring the left arm back behind you. All right, and let's bring both arms up and hands down to the mat. Bring the foot back into plank, lean the shoulders forward and go down until you can transition to an upward facing dog. Exhale as you go into a downward facing dog. Now let's bring the left foot up into a three-legged downward facing dog and bring the left knee to the nose and bring your left heel up to your, toward your butt. Left heel, uh, left knee toward your nose, and heel toward the butt. One more time. Knee toward the nose, heel up toward your butt. And then step it through between your hands. Inhale, raise both arms up. So you're in your graceful crescent pose relax the shoulders now in this position we're, we're going to bring the left arm back and the right arm forward bring the left hand on the back of your right thigh as you raise the right arm up maybe the right arm goes backwards maybe it doesn't you need to find what's your edge and you ride on your edge what allows you to maintain integrity yet surpass your comfort zone find that and then let's bring both arms up and hands down to the mat step the foot back into plank Lean the shoulders forward, 
and come on down into upward facing dog and exhale child's pose bring your butt toward your heels relax your forehead down to the mat and feel how different this child's pose feels compared to the first one. All right, let's come on up into tabletop. Bring the knees forward. Okay, cross your feet and sit back on your butt. All right. Now from here, we're going to do reverse crunches. And we're going to do so by leaning, uh, laying on our backs, putting our fingers, putting our fingertips down, propped up on uh, next to us like so, okay? And our chin is slightly tucked. Our shoulders are elevated. Bring your feet up like so. So your knees are up, your feet are up. And I want you to push your butt, your knees toward your face. And then bring him back down. We're going to do that a few times. Remember, you can press the fingers and hands down into the mat to help your butt come up. Exhale as you bring them up and your knees go toward your butt. And exhale as you slowly bring them back. Let's do it again. Knees toward your butt. I mean, sorry, knees toward your face <laughs> as your butt lifts and back down. Again, do it at your own pace. Last one here for everyone. Now hug your knees in, squeeze yourself into a tight ball, and exhale, let it all go, straighten your legs and arms out, however way you like, and let's just rest in Shavasana. Another trick is to make your head more comfortable is to interlace your fingers behind your head and pull your head away from your body to lengthen the neck and then set it down. It's a nice way to lengthen the neck there. In Shavasana, we just relax, allow our minds to wander, close our eyes, let the breath, let it go. Don't worry about the breath. Let it do its own thing. Let it be chaotic. Release control. Forget everything. Just be comfortable laying on your back. You get up whenever you want. Thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.